Have you seen this? It's called the Blackout Buddy. It was invented a few years ago and it was created by a company called Eaton and it's meant as an emergency light in case you just don't want to light candles. All you do is put it into water. Now it's been widely adopted and it is impressive because it's one whole device in itself. It says doesn't contain batteries. But of course it does. It contains a battery that's activated by just adding water. Now that concept of a battery activated by just adding water was taken up by another company called JAW who created a pretty successful Kickstarter campaign based around this idea so you could put the batteries in whatever you wanted like a radio for example, something like that. The Blackout Buddy is cool because it's one whole concept. You don't need to do anything. You just dip your light in water, you have light. The JAW is cool because you can put it into other things that you might want to run in an emergency situation. And of course, both of them are batteries that are activated by just adding water. And those kind of batteries are actually stunningly easy to create yourself from materials you probably have lying around. So this paper came out in 2022 and what they did was soak a piece of paper in some salt solution and let it dry. So what they got was a, a bit of salty paper. Then they stuck that on top of some zinc and painted a bit of carbon paint on the top. When you add water to it, you activate it and the salt solution taps the zinc and you get yourself a water activated battery. What we're going to do is take that basic idea and beef it up a little bit. All you need actually is some of this stuff. We've used this stuff before, it's Oasis Floral Foam. Fantastic stuff actually, it wicks water up, holds it in a reservoir, takes a tremendous amount of material in there, and that's the basics of what it, the battery is built around. So you want it cuts easily with a kitchen knife. Now I'm not gonna make a particularly big one, I'm just gonna make one that size. So I've cut a little bit of the Oasis foam, it's about half a centimetre by about two centimetres by about four centimetres. Then I need a little bit of zinc foil, the same size as the foam that I've just cut. So I've got a piece of zinc foil. Zinc's dead easy to get hold of. If you're looking for bits of zinc, a uh, great place is disused batteries. That They are zinc. So a little bit of disused battery will do it. Cut your zinc foil to the same size as your Oasis foam. I'm making an absolutely tiny one. You can actually make these much bigger, obviously. So we get a little bit of zinc foil and a little bit of Oasis and the Oasis goes on the zinc foil. Now I'm going to use this stuff. This stuff is carbon felt and I've talked about this one before as well. It's an activated carbon felt. You find it in things like air filtration actually. So if you've got air filtration units, it'll have this in it. If you are buying a replacement cartridge, it's going to have this or something very similar in there. You could use just fish pond activated carbon, but you'd have to glue it together. And this one's really easy because you only cut it with a pair of scissors. There's no gluing required. And so you cut a piece of your activated felt off, again, the same size as your foam. So now we've got a three layer sandwich. The only other thing we need is some form of current collector. I'm a great fan of this stuff, which is graph oil, but a bit of stainless steel will do just as well. So if you have some stainless steel mesh kicking around, like the fly screen, something like that, then cut a little bit of that off to make the other side. This is your other side current collector. And that's it. That's all you need. You pop those things together and stick them in a plastic bag. Now I've got a little plastic bag here. I'm going to cut off the top of it so that the Ziploc seal doesn't get in the way and all of that goes into that plastic bag. So what I'm going to do now is just give you a close-up of those components. So there's our plastic bag, there's the zinc foil, there's the graphite foil, again you could use um, stainless steel, there's the Oasis foam, and there is the carbon. Carbon goes on top, graph oil or stainless steel goes like that, flip the whole thing over, and your zinc goes like that. So that's your completed battery. Now we pop it in a plastic bag. And give the whole thing a squish down. And we can hold it together with a bit of sellotape.
Now, like that, that battery will last forever. It's just gonna, not going to do anything. What we need to make it do something is add an electrolyte. And the electrolyte that we add is here. This is vinegar. So it's 20 milliliters of vinegar and one teaspoon of table salt. That's the magic electrolyte. Now I'm going to connect it to a motor. And of course it's doing absolutely nothing. It works slightly better incidentally if you put a bulldog clip or an ordinary clip on it. Just a, a peg, a clothing peg. Now when I add the electrolyte, So that little motor was pulling something like 200, 250 milliamps. An LED will pull about 2 milliamps. And so it will light an LED for something like 100 times longer. In fact, that little battery you made would make an LED torch that lasted you know, three or four days, something like that. If you wanted it so that it was just add water, because we added vinegar and salt, then you soak the oasis or the carp and felt in a salt solution and then dry it. Then all you have to do is add water. Now something happens when the salt attacks the zinc. It forms what's called a passivation layer. The vinegar eats away that passivation layer and allows better use of the zinc. It would still work without the vinegar, as we saw in the research paper. It's just we beefed it up by adding an acid, vinegar, to eat away the passivation layer. And there are acids that will do that that are solids. So Barkeeper's Friend, which is oxalic acid, would do exactly the same thing. So if you mixed up a solution of oxalic acid, terrible salt, soaked the oasis and the carbon felt and dried it, all you would then need to do is add water and you would get exactly the same effect. So of course what you get is an emergency power supply because when that thing's dry, that's going to do absolutely nothing. You're talking about 20, 30 years. It'll just sit there until you add water. Of course, you could, if you wanted, add some lights to it, make yourself an emergency torch, add it to a radio, make yourself an emergency radio, add it to a charge controller, make yourself an emergency phone charger. There's just so much you could do with that that the heart of it is really easy to make and then you could do other stuff with it or just leave those lying around in case you do need an emergency power supply. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.